Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Apple. The report was first published on our website Friday, September 23, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Apple? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since September 13, 2022, our system ranks the Apple stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.190. In this period the stock has had a loss of minus 2.22%. This is an average return of minus 0.25% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Apple our last headline reads, Apple stock price down 1.51% on Friday. The Apple stock price fell by minus 1.51% on the last day, Friday, September 23, 2022, from $152.74 to $150.43. It has now fallen four days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.96% from a day low at $148.56 to a day high of $151.47. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 4.41% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 9 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 96 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $14.42 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $182.94 and the lowest price was $129.04. Right now the price is 17.77%, or $32.51, below 52-week high and 34.1%, or $77.83, below all-time high August 30, 2018 where the price hit $228.26. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 10.17% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 10.17% and 32.9%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 2.19% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 16.15% and 16.44%. This equals a price between $126.14 and $175.17 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Apple stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Apple stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Apple. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Apple stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $153.05 and $161.85. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Wednesday, August 17, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 13.82%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a sell signal 27 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 14 days ago. The short-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 5 days ago. 
The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal 17 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a buy signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 40 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $147.07 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $2.91 between high and low, or 1.96%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.92%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Apple. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Apple currently has a price earning ratio of 25.25. This is a relatively normal price to earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Next upcoming earnings report for Q3 2022 is expect to be released October 26, 2022. The consensus among the analysts are $1.26. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Apple meets first resistance at $150.70. If you do not hold Apple shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Apple finds first level of support at $147.07 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Apple is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On August 17, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 30,345 of common stock. On August 17, 2022 Maestri Luca made an inside sell of 66,390 of common stock. On August 8, 2022 O'Brien Dardiari made an inside sell of 31,896 of restricted stock unit. On August 8, 2022 O'Brien Dardiari made an inside sell of 15,366 of common stock. On August 5, 2022 O'Brien Dardiari made an inside sell of 16,530 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 35.554. In total, the insiders bought 737,303 and sold 1,639,599 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Apple stock a buy? The Apple stock holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe Apple will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Monday 26th we expect Apple to open down minus 28 cents and start trading at $150.15. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.